the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty man, let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. Joel 3, and verse 10, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Beat your plowshares and swords and plenty of plenty hooks and the spears, and let the weak say I'm scroll. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, news article from foxnews.com, published by Lawrence Richard from Fox News, published December the 14th, 2023, at 929 Eastern Standard Time, and it reads... South Korea, Japan scramble jets after China Russian warplane spotted entering Seoul's defense uh, zone. The aircraft spotted flying towards the East China Sea, including China's H 6 J 16 Y 8 and Russian's TU SU 35. And it says, uh, South Korea and Japan scrambled fighter jets on uh, Thursday after China and Russian aircraft was spotted near, uh, right near the, let's keep this in mind, you have the, uh, United, the United States, South Korea, and Japan, all three allies. And then you have China, Russia as allies with one another. It says South Korea and Japan scrambled fighter jets on Thursday after Chinese and Russian aircraft were spotted near their countries, officials said. It says South Korea scrambled fighter jets after two Chinese and four Russian military planes enter its air defense zone. South Korea Joint Chief of Staff said in a statement, separately Japan scrambled its jets to monitor Chinese and Russian bombers and fighters conducting joint flights on Thursday, according to its defense ministry. It says the aircraft, including China's H-6J-16Y-8 and Russia's Tu-95 and Su-95, they were spotted flying towards the East China Sea through the channel between Japan and South Korea's Japan ministry says. And it says, according to the South Korea's military, the aircraft entered the Korean Air Defense Identification Zone off its east coast between 11.53 a.m. and 12.10 p.m. local time, and then, and then left the area. The planes did not violate South Korea's territorial airspace, which is protected by the international law, its military said. A defense zone is uh, different from a nation's territorial airspace, which usually means the space is above its territory, extending 12 nastical uh, miles away from its coastal line. So I'm going to read that again. This book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near and let them come up, right? Because we've been seeing the on, you know, the ongoing, uh, increasing, rising tension between North Korea, South Korea, Japan, and the United States. As we've been seeing the alliance been building up between China and Russia as well, too. So what's been taking place over there in the South China Sea, China versus Taiwan, and China versus the United States over Taiwan. So we definitely been seeing a lot of military activities been taking place over there in that area, in the uh, Korean Peninsula, and the uh, South China Sea as well too. You know, uh, while the ongoing amending tensions, rising tensions over there in those areas. So just like it says in uh, Matthew's uh, 24 and verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And right along with the uh, jail will, chapter 3, verse 9 and verse 10 as well, too, that I just brought out. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of this uh, recent news article from foxnews.com. 
published by Lawrence Richard from Fox News, uh, published December the 14th, 2023 at 9.29 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it says again, South Korea, Japan, scramble jets after China's Russia warplane spotted entering Seoul's defense zone. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akar Kadash, Shalom to the uh, elders Wa'akim Wa'akwaf. And until next time, I will say Shalom.